J Mac and Gali, they played a they play a lot. Really good players overall. They both been improving quickly. Oh, for sure. I don't. This is the. Yeah, is six one on Godly in like the last season. Um, they they only played this time. Like they're only. This is their first time this season. Uh, last season it was pretty dominant for J Max. Uh, surprisingly, even more dominant with Pika. But uh, yeah, yeah. But regardless, J Max hasn't lost to him in a while. So this this is going to be pretty interesting. I know Godly. I'm talking with me a lot. Had me do a lot of match analysis. Um, really been wanting to play J Mac again because he's been trying to make a lot of strides in this matchup to get better um, and hopefully beat J Mac this time. I think J Mac he's been, like he's been improving quickly like in, like late twenty right there. In late twenty twenty one it was like when he started playing Pika he didn't do terrible but like compared to like the uh, the other two seasons he didn't do as good. Oh, yeah. And in the beginning and in the beginning of uh, this in the beginning of this year. Uh, he he did really well with Pika, like yeah. He won. He, it was like, the only rough period he had this year was like when he was first going back to Meta Knight, but he's well past that stage now. Yeah. For he, he, he did really good with Pika, though. Yeah. Been down there. Oh oh yo, he grabbed also, the Zer he got the Zermi. Holy. Go, 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 Godly opting to go for default Ichigo. Nice. I, 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 I think this is I think this is his assignment. There's no way anybody playing default Ichigo on purpose. It's <laughs> the only bleach, bro. It's bleach. The, the, the only person that I see do that is Gunslinger, and I don't. I'm not gonna imply anything else. I'm just saying. Hey. Maybe, and by maybe. the way, J Mac, you know, um, we'll get into J. this later. The J. The J. Yeah, J. The J. We're gonna anyway. we're gonna talk about the J in a bit, but yeah. J Mac. J Mac. This was an interesting um, stage pick too. Yeah, this is generally how it should go. Um, I was talking to a guy about stage picks, and I mean, he needs to ban uh, the flats. This is general. This is how me and J Mac also ended up. Uh, like earlier this year, was this we just go to PC because I just banned the flat stages, and then uh, he'd end up banning triplets. So that makes sense. Yeah. Very interesting. Did he end up winning that set too? Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Mm. But we're, we're 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 gonna we're gonna ignore the the Amex yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna let these slide with these goat allegations right now. Cause yeah, Godly... yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what my co-commentators are talking about, but either way, Godly with a pretty solid lead. Uh, again, we we talked about that F throw. Um, it's definitely been pretty useful. Bringing back that that 2020 meta of just using F throw as a DI mix up to down throw. What? It, I would think down throw would be better in this matchup now. I mean, there's it's a DI mix up, like, um, I, I know, but, but oh, like, that was super clean. Dead, yeah, God, oh, just throw that out. Like jump, about uh, three cents, two. So yeah. down three to one. And I mean, he is known for comebacks, but J Mac is down three to one. The prolific. Oh, oh, I thought we could see like a. Oh, that's that like that little mix. That nair was nice because up was not killing. Now it is, though. Yep. It makes the okay. All right, Jamie. All right, it's pretty much. Dolly has a good stock to play with right now. Dolly good. Dolly good. Dolly good. Yeah. Um. Oh. I like, I like how he's really, really like using these nares though. Like just keep space like, around you and. He's that. spacing around them really well, yeah. Just take advantage of his. And he's going out the fairs because he knows that Jamie won't be able to punish it easily. Yeah. It's such, a, it's such a good move. How often does fair both their fairs like trade or like beat one another out? I think it'll only matter because if Gali does fair and Jamek is doing fair one, I think Gali would benefit more from it if it yeah, trades. Yeah, trading a multi hit. You never want to trade at the beginning of a multi hit move. Yeah, for sure. Unless unless it's like Bowser or Fox Dare versus like a an upbeat. You know what I mean in that case. Yeah. Yeah. Doing that. Oh. This, is this it? Oh, oh, no. this match for up that was also a mad early to try and go for it for his air combo. Uh, uh, yeah, nah, yeah, and then he, got, and he got punished for yeah, yeah, hate, yeah, hate. I feel it. like J Mac is less willing to like um, try and go for it. just just ending the combo, ending the ladders earlier with a dare horizontally just to take like the knockback. Because in those situations, I don't think the second hit of up is ever gonna connect if he's like full dying away. Um, but either way, though, Godly with the lead, very interesting. Uh, they end up going to SV, makes sense. Godly ban Toss, and then they end up on SV because it's one ban, best of five. Why would, why would Godly ban Toss? Because you don't want to play, you don't want to play, uh, 
This matchup is Ichigo on flat stages. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. I mean, he's he basically on FD 2.0. Yeah. You're, you're on, you're on, you're on. Yeah, it's FD. more about picking your poison in one band, honestly, which is fine. Like, these matchups, are, uh, these stages are pretty different. And SV, in a lot of ways, can be similar to PC, so. Uh, due to the, the how flat stages, the, the the platform occasionally interrupting and like the size as well. Oh, oh, he's just yeah, and just taking the tornado for damage, yeah, because you're not gonna kill off that. I don't Still, think, he, I don't think he was confident in the upbeat either. Yeah, yeah, I mean upbeat was not gonna kill there. Mm. Hey, yeah, you never you never know. J, J Mac Di is 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 is, is on isn't everyone? Everyone has a little bit of J Mac Di in them. Hmm. Not nice. Off the off the top, it's Ender Di though. Oh, oh, oh my! You just, you, I, you just that's not slander. You just be holding in sometimes on. on my, I, I Di in on everything because I never want to. I never want to try holding out on moves, unless I know holding out is like the best way to survive. Either uh, way though, it's it's, it's, it's an lead right now. Probably tying it up. Oh my God! Commentators curse from Monty once again, Pro -pro proving that everything he says. I didn't say anything that didn't literally happen. That wasn't a nah. prediction. Nah, it was a prediction. Was a prediction. Yeah, and both those things happened. That's not nah, a space. I, 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 I disagree. I disagree. Anywho, anywho, back back on topic. Jack with the F foot extension, that was so clean. Oh, oh side, really messes up that back bit, That back like swing of the side B is so frustrating to deal with sometimes. It's like a really underrated aspect. Um, I see Gali yeah. use it. I used to see Gali use it in place of dash attack a lot. Yeah, no, it's it's a good like overshoot option. Um, in place of dash attack, people like to stay out of dash attack range sometimes, and like, there's other spots where like, you want the lingering hit, um, you want the lingering hit of like the in the side B. But either way though, Jamac yeah, opening him up, but that platform making a huge difference. That would not happen on toss. Like that's a it's a small thing that like, where you might want to take a SV over toss, but. Really good spacing from Godly just to whiff punish that. Ooh. Oh, that down B. That's the classic J Mac at like high percent. He'll just start down being people. He has to jump too. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. That was really yeah. J Mac. I, I don't think we should call it down B, but we should call it the, call it the dimensional cape. Dimensional cape? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this being the theme of like calling out yeah. moves like they are. Yeah. I. You know what? I don't know. Some of some of these Ichigo moves are not like moves from the anime. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I don't know what to call them. These made shit up. Some for some of them, yeah. These jump ultimate stars moves. <laughs> that game did a lot for us stuff too. But either way though. Movie type shit. Anyways. <laughs> I'm there. Oh, he can die from this. Yeah, this could be. Oh, any SDs? Yeah, yeah nah. just straight up. Yeah. And that's gonna be last talk situation. Oh, this could be it. oh, J Mac is just not pushing his advantage there. Like just yeah. not trying to combo at all. Yeah, he's just right there, he just went for the reach, like straight up reach. So he's trying mm -hmm. to run zero. Golly though, playing his positions properly. Slightly overextends there, but like it ends up working out. But he's getting so much mileage at these like nairs, cause mm -hmm. they, Jamex is just forced to re as respect it, especially he'll most definitely chur or oh, and that could be it. Or, oh, is he dead? Oh, he barely messes up. Jamex barely messes. Like he yeah. hardly ever messes those up. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy. Um, he, he, been, he plays God like really often too. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Jamek is so consistent at that. And messing up his punish. Yo, Jamek punish just a little bit off, and that's gonna be the game. Uh, that that that's definitely that's crazy, that's crazy, bro. Hit <laughs> him with the umbrella. That's, that's his umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's so unfortunate, bro. Yeah, and then going in a going into game three, Jamek has to tighten up his punish, because that was the number one thing that caused him at the end of that game like oh yeah for not sure. comboing off the f throw at the end not hitting the dare on the edge guard like not extending that up air punish like those things are causing him a lot for somebody that is so good at punishing people yeah. and is just known for fucking people up like for j max punish to be off is going to be huge yeah that's the big thing that makes j max so different from other top players that like, he shouldn't be messing this up because he usually doesn't right so like when you give any top player that opportunity they're gonna steal it. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Good yeah, good. Uh, side B. But oh, doesn't close oh. it out. That yeah, that's gonna be big as well. Um, because he did a good job of calling out where Godly likes to side B from, uh, and it's generally gonna be the similar spot every time. Like, like his decision making is generally gonna be the same. Like, oh, I see this opportunity to side B. I'm gonna take it. Like, I'm gonna double jump side B here, etc. So, J Mac knows that and can cover that space, but. He doesn't close out the stock after after a play like that. It's it's gonna be yeah. a big problem. You can yeah. nuke that as many times as you want. If you don't get like, that kill, you're gonna be behind. Like like Meta Knight is not a character that's gonna stray hit you to to death a lot, uh, yeah. unless unless he's like outplaying you a ton. That was a good tech, but that's not gonna be enough to live. Yeah, um, he should have beat earlier after the tech. But regardless though, that up throw up air is gonna take the stock, and that's the thing. Meta Knight's you know, I mean, generally lighter than most of the most of the player most of the characters he's gonna be coming up against, so like he needs to close out these punishes. Um he needs to be on point to really succeed like this. Either way though, Godly again, you know, like we talked about last time, just playing the positioning properly. Trying to call out jumps where he can, but regardless, just taking the safe plays and just playing the positioning. Um better miss that punish. Knowing when to dash back, like not doing it unnecessarily, just holding the ground if you can. Knowing when he's gonna approach, that oh, was super clean from God. That, that hurts. One thing I noticed yeah. that Godly has not been giving JMX center. Like usually, mm -hmm. like when it, when I watch this, JMX gets a good punch and then he's just back to center, and then Godly has to earn his way back to the center the entire time. He's mm -hmm. not giving. It. Yeah, exactly. Like if he has, if he is dashing back, it's because he has to. It's not like he's not forcing, not forcing it. Oh, oh the, the idea. Actually, that the hit from Tornado actually like cost him that because he could have actually let Tog him. Oh. oh, and that's gonna be huge. Now that like that three to two situation is so huge in uh, that's Smash that's games because it's like swing. It's yeah. Cool right now, okay, J Mac needs to get killed because I feel like once J Mac is like the forty, I feel like the games are like that. Yeah, this game. Oh no, silly but. <laughs> Hit him with the rage combo. Oh my god. Ends up being true. <laughs> <laughs> J Mac usually amazing. J Mac usually amazing for making those comebacks. So Godly just closing it out before he even has a chance. 3 0. That's the first time Godly's beaten J Mac in months. I think maybe since like February or anything. And the first time he's lost a set to Ichi in a, in a while. When was the, besides Dark K or J Mac, like DQ, was the last time J Mac missed top four? Exactly, bro. That's the statistics I was about to bring up. He hasn't missed top four outside of DQs since uh, Blossom Bash. That same tournament, I believe he lost to Godly at. I know he lost to AO, and I think he maybe lost to Godly after that. Um, yeah, sure. That's the last time. Because aside, he's only gotten upset one other time, out to, uh, like in terms of people that aren't Tiller or Pixel. He's only gotten upset one time, and that was. Um, doesn't need to be brung up. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Wait, what? It's been a while since he's had a loss like this that wasn't to somebody who who was yeah, in the top three from last season. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing is that, like, we could be seeing the two best players here for fifth place because we have Tiller versus Vapor up next. That, mm -hmm. that sounds like a barn burner for me. <gasps> mm -hmm. Hi, Tiller, man. Yeah, and especially because, like, Vapor's also, like, again, you know, um, 